Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to my messy mess. This is Kathy Peck of TN Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas. And oh, we've had some great weather. I mean, gorgeous weather. I can't stop going outside even though it's raining. So, this these temperatures just beat the hundreds that we had for so, so many days. And anyway, I have a surprise for you today. I have a quick little card, and then I wanted to show you my new tool caddy that I made for my classes. I've, well, I've made one so far, and um, I showed it to my class this week. They liked it, so now I'm going to make some more. It's pretty cool. It's made out of chipboard. Don't mind the mistake in here. It's just it's what happens. It's just some paper that I had. I got in a kit that I bought. A while ago for like journaling and things so I made this box and it's approximately I think five and a half let's see one two three four five maybe six by six or so and then I have components that fit inside of it pieces that I've taken just old pieces of paper or um, this is like a, a title card to a paper pack and I made it to fit right here and it holds envelopes, um, white cardstock, my basic white cardstock, and even some dimensionals. And then over here I have my one tool caddy I pieced together. I have scissors, bone folder, you can throw a pencil in here, Wink of Stella, because Wink of Stella is very important in my class. And I have the tear and tape and tape runner. So I have some folks who prefer tape runner. And so I glued those three little components together and they fit in here nicely. And then, oh, here's the last with the glue. I put Tombow in these because I like to squeeze these with my arthritis. I have glue dots, more dimensionals, glue, more glue dots. These are glue dots you get like with paper pumpkin. So I keep those and I use them in class. And all that just fits in there so nicely. Cutesy wootsy. I don't know if I'll do a video on how to do this. I may. I've been watching a lot of videos on how to build boxes using chipboard. And I use the chipboard that comes with paper packs and all that. It's pretty sturdy. I mean, listen to that. So, isn't that cool? This one is going to stay in my office because I record here in the office slash kennel slash laundry room. And here I have my big dogs going to sleep right now. But I do most of my crafting in my dining room. That's where all my supplies are. But here's where I do a lot of the business end of the business. Like making videos and editing videos. And Well, I don't really edit them. I just, it's what you see is what you get with me. Alrighty. So, for this little card, let me show this. I made this for a swap for... Um, when the new mini catalog came out and I was finally getting around to making a video of it. It's a very quick and easy, very simple like Thanksgiving type of card. I mean it's very simple. So that's what you have. You have your card base and here I have the card base that's cut. This is cut eight and a half by five and a half. And this is crumb cake. I did it all in crumb cake. Now I have my top layer this top layer is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then you have a little, this is soft suede layer that's one by four and three quarters. And, or, and then this is, this is from the Gingham Cottage uh, set, paper pack. And that is one and three eighths by three and a half. Then I have my little soft suede um, bow and some greenery that's fall colors. But let me show you this about this little my little cheat sheet here about the Gingham Cottage Suite. You can find the suite collection on pages 58 and 59 of the annual catalog, and that you can order. There's a, a number for the entire suite collection, which consists of the stamps, dice, twine, pearlized enamel effects, and the Gingham Cottage paper pack, 
which is enormous. It's 48 sheets of paper, 12 different designs, four of each, okay? Coordinating colors are basic black, blushing bride, garden green, mint macaron, pumpkin pie, and real red. And this set is like, it's a stamp set that has a wreath in it. And it's really good for like Halloween, Christmas, you know, just fall themed and holiday themed. And you can even, you know, mix the wreath with flowers from other sets and make um, springy like. These are the dies. It's a 22 piece die set. Oh, got a little color on here. Here's the coordinating colors and I don't know. Can you see this? These little shiny bits right here. This is this. This is the pearlized enamel effects. You can make these 3D. I like to use them just to add like a little shimmer and shine. So this is the white on top of this real red paper because, you know, if I had to put white on white, I don't know if you could see that very well. And then this is the red and that's what they call black, which really to me is gray. And that's what I did to, if you can see it here, to this bow is I colored it with that. And I'm going to do that right now and show you, I'll show you how I do that. But let me show you the paper. So here's the 12 different sheets of paper, front and back side. Most of them are the same color. There was another orange and black combination, or no, orange and orange co combination. But I gave it away to a friend who does a lot of Halloween stuff before I thought about doing this. But I just took my postage stamp, or postage punch, and just punched out the colors and flip, cut them in half and flipped over one side. This is some pretty cool, and it looks like it was handmade gingham patterns. So it's really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is my little quick and easy cheat sheet. Those are the coordinating colors. So, great. So let me show you quickly how easy it is to add these pearlized enamel effects to anything. So it's, it dries so fast. So what I like to do is I just put a little dab of it on a piece of paper, scratch paper, and then get my element that I want to color. And I use a sponge, just a piece of sponge, dip it in there, and then I'm going to just tap all over this with a sponge and I don't want to cover it completely I just want to add just a little little bits of shimmer and that's what I've done and it's pretty much pretty much dry right there and what I did for this one is I did it on the whole sheet before I cut out because I, I made this for a swap so I had to make several several cards like that all right, so the ink I'm going to use today in this fast little card is Soft Suede, Pumpkin Pie, and Crush Curry. All right, and the Soft Suede is first. I'm going to glue down these pieces, and then we'll do a little stamping. This goes really, really quickly once you get everything cut. It's a nice little swap card. Right, and I'm putting this about two, oh, about three eighths of an inch in from the edge. That's that, and then we're gonna layer this. See, this is not wild. You flip it over, and it's black and white. Woo! So I think this. You'll, I've seen a lot of this paper used in Halloween cards on Pinterest because it's perfect for it, really especially the black and white shades. All right, that's done. Now I'm going to take the stamp set that was here that's not here now. Oh no, what did I do with the stamp set? Well, just give me a minute. I'll run and get it. Unless I stuck it down here. Oh, here it is. It's on my shelf. Here's the stamp set, the cottage reads. I'm going to use the leaves right here. Hazel, you're breathing really loudly. What's up, girl? You sleepy? You got one snoring, one breathing. The other ones, I don't know where. 
All right, so I'm using the three, it's the three little leaves, the little leaf trio. I'm gonna stamp one down here. Oh, I just stuck my finger in there, there we go. Flip it over and stamp one up here. Good. It's done. Got my little cleaner in a baggie. We tried using it in a baggie for class. I gave everybody their own baggie with their own cleaning, half of a cleaning pad. It seemed to work well. Because it's like that, my little cleaning chamois gets lost on the table all the time. And we're going to use the word gratitude or grateful when we get the wreath done. Now to stamp the wreath, I'm going to stamp first in crushed curry. And I will stamp off once. Need to keep my glue plugged or else this little hole gets gets jammed up. So I have my C D. My D sized block and that this fits really nicely. Well, and it should stay. Oops. Alright, I grab a piece of white out of my handy dandy new tool caddy. stamp off. Yep. Now I don't want a lot of yellow in this. Just really a light shade. And I'm not even going to clean it off. I'm going to go right into the pumpkin pie because it won't matter. There we go. And there's something on here. Some lint flying around. Well, for those of you who have kiddos going to off to college, I hope everything went well at drop-off. I don't have any going to college. I should, but I don't. But I do have one in the Navy who's doing her thing, and we're so proud of her. Alright. This is just eyeball it where you want. Ooh, that came out really well. Good. Now I'm going to do the little grateful before I punch it. And I want to make sure that this, if you look at this wreath, it's wider this way than it is this way, the opening. So I want to make sure that I'm putting grateful in the widest opening. And it doesn't matter if it's angled a little because you're punching it with a circular punch. So you can move it around easily you know just twist it around and put it wherever you need it there all right the punch I'm using is the decorative circle punch I really like this punch Put this in here now some of the leaves may get chopped off but that's all right this there we go now we just do the final assembly okay i'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals all i have her do i is that all i have is baby dimensionals oh, oh here's some big ones okay I'm using my take your pick tool. Yes, Hazel, I hear ya, I see ya. My old puppy Hazel, she's having some, I think some arthritis. She's, she's a little itty bitty mini schnauzer. I mean, she's really little, about 10 pounds, and she's just sassy, but she's feeling her age, I think. Almost 12, and very picky. She's the alpha. The itty bitty dog is the alpha dog. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's my base, and I'm gonna stick this right on here. Probably wouldn't hurt to, you know, sponge around this, but I want to keep this clean and simple. Now I'm 
I'm going to look at my word to determine where how I'm going to put it. Looks good. Now I'm going to stick together all these little bits here and I used glue dots. And I flipped this over the wreath or not the wreath, but the bow. I flipped it upside down and stuck a glue dot on it. It'll stay. And then I took the leaves and I put them I want these to really I want to use the crushed curry, the colors that I have in the wreath. And I just stuck the t this end of the little leaf die cut and stuck it under here. Yeah. And then popped another glue dot directly on top of that and stuck it down. And this glue dot's got a lot of fuzz on it. Now, instead of, where did, oh, I want to use, this is the twine that came with the rustic, or what is it, rustic harvest bundle, or sweet. So what I'm going to do is just tie a little bow with this. And what I did, this twine is actually pretty thick. It's several strands thick, and I pulled several out of it. And, I mean, you can make this go a long way. That looks good. I'm going to stick that right on top. Trim off these little ends. I may trim them a little more, but I think that might do. For, yeah, maybe just a hair more. And just pop another glue dot on there and stick that on it. I think I want to put it on that side. Yeah, these glue dots are really sticky. There we go. That is the how quick and easy that goes together. My little card. Oh, don't mind my mess here. I always have a mess. But what wouldn't it be if it wasn't a little bit messy? It's fun, though. All right. There. That's it. Oops. My one little wreath grateful card. Getting some things ready to send out for the holidays. I can't believe, you know, we're already past the middle of August. School's back in session. Next thing you know, it'll be Halloween and then Thanksgiving. Alrighty, so if you like what you see here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. And you'll also see this on my blog. You can follow my blog as well. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.